People of YouTube, hello and welcome to another episode of Echo Multiplayer. Today's squad is by me. No one suggested. Well, people were talking a lot about Agent Sniper, so I guess there was some influence kind of, you know, going around, um, being passed around. But yeah, I more or less built the rest in myself. I, I, I do that sometimes. I don't necessarily take advice from you guys all the time, so yeah. Anyhow, say a loadout. Um, yes, this squad. So we have an Agent Sniper, as I mentioned. And this is an Agent Sniper with the laser rifle, also a plasma pistol, uh, with a lurker, gin mod, uh, scope, and no armor. And that's about 9 HP, so he's not very strong. But obviously, having a mimetic agent, in case you don't know this yet, um, is beneficial in a way that any cover is a cover where they can hide. Even half cover for them is full cover, hence full cover for a medic is, you know, cloak. You get the idea. Now, this guy is a regular hunter, so we have actually two snipers here. Also with a la uh, laser sniper, also with a plasma pistol, uh, but this guy is just a watcher. He's not going to be hiding uh, anywhere, but obviously hunters come with battle scanners, so that's good. It's going to help us find stuff. Also helping us find stuff is the Seeker here, which, and this is going to be the first time I use the Seeker, so I may completely fail, and you know I beg your forgiveness for this uh, beforehand. And we also have uh, Catman uh, as support here, um, who is an LPR, um, cotton plating, watcher guy. So just kind of basic enemy within watcher, uh, sorry, enemy within um, smoke jumper. So I guess there would be watch jumper or something like that. So as I said, Catman 922. 9222 two, two, two is the smoke jumper or okay watch jumper then um i'm not sure how you pronounce your name but i'm gonna go with kjc Kish is the uh, hunter sniper and then uh christian tuos or talos is our agent sniper and autoclave is the seeker and we got ranked okay that's a switch to a berlin server because no one is playing anything in america apparently today yeah we have a person here that i'm not sure if they are awake, they seem to be awake, but Steam just won't give me their information. So, no, they don't share the information. We just know that they are, they want to be thought of as being from Germany. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, good old bar. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. So, my plan here is to take the Matrix, dude. Um... What the hell was that? That was quite strange. What is that making that sound? Anyway, so I was going to take the Matrix, dude. Uh, probably cloak him first turn and take him above and so he can see stuff. Um, and maybe he, since, since he's going to be above, so I guess we could activate his stealth probably already uh, because this is such a uh, short map so we, then we go toggle flight okay so we're flying wow you can uh, travel quite far it seems let's see so wait I get I lose stealth count for moving? I, I hope not. Anyway, okay, well, that's done. Uh, now, where is our Heidi guy? Heidi guy is this one, right? So, ideally, of course, we want to put him on something, like, tallish, but isn't exactly an option here. So, instead, we can, because he can hide anywhere, we can try and hide him, for example here to begin with now this one is a regular dude with uh, kiting plating and there aren't that many places for a kiting plating dude to be so we're gonna probably start him out over he here and uh, this is the hunter dude who could potentially like start hunting maybe even let's see well, if I come I really press that I, I, I swear Ah, uh, you annoy me. Okay, let's move over here then. And we start hunting next turn. Haven't exactly seen anyone 
yet and uh yet so but i haven't heard any doors and anything really there's just nothing going on there was a weird sound that i heard in the beginning see that one what the hell is that are they coming down this way but seriously though that is weird Well, look how cool is that? The agent can be um, in cloak in any cover because it's all full cover for them. They just don't care. But I'm just maybe being just stupid here. I've, I, I have no idea what is that sound. Maybe that's when they put down um, their mines, but that, then again, I don't hear uh, the mech moving around. So something is definitely moving around because the clock, clock is stopping. So I'm guessing they're just moving from across there and we should probably just check it out. Uh, we don't, we're not gonna have... Okay, so when we moved we spent... Stealth, is that how that works? Okay, let's see what's up here. Right. So... Oh no, this is a mech, he's just making a weird, different sound. So here's a punchy fist. A grenade launcher, is this a demolition dude? Could be. Well, anyway, we know he's coming. So we should prepare, ideally. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm, this sniper should be in a, maybe even a better position. But at the same time, I mean, what difference does it make? Let's hide this guy here. Oh, he can also, he's also a jumpy guy, isn't he? Hmm, let's start here. Maybe we'll put him on the roof and drop him on top of the guy later. That is not the most expensive sniper you can have. I'm just gonna overwatch here. And I am gonna probably hunker with you instead. Right. Now we can observe their movements. So, something else is selected right now. I'm guessing they have some emetics moving around. This isn't exactly an expensive mech, so if we bring that one down, that's like half their money gone. I think, if that's a demolitioner dude. And but they didn't go to the roof, so maybe it's not a commando mech. Maybe they could even have two of those. So no one entered the building. No one seems to be coming that from that way. So may, they probably uh, have some invisible units here somewhere. That's that's my guess. That's well, what the hell was that? Oh, he's moving out. Where the hell is he going? Oh wow! I've got a visual. Okay, there was a mimetic then. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. And he got a second shot as well. Well, isn't that great? Okay, so we got two guys over there. Fair enough. And the other one is visual? Or they came out of thing, but we cannot see them yet. So that's unfortunate. Okay, so that was a pretty clever attack. And we'd lost one of our dudes, obviously. Now we have a sniper right there. Uh, this sniper could, of course, come over here, but there would hardly be enough to kill him. Now we also have a problem here because we are getting surrounded. That guy is coming around. Uh, if we move him, he is going to be killed. Uh, he's going to be um, visible to the guy. So that's not very good. And another guy is, I think, sitting over there. So this one has no vision yet. And he could also is in danger of getting flanked. So what we could do... Doesn't seem like they have any battle scanners out yet. So I'm just going to leave my mimetic there for a second. And try and engage them with this dude here. Okay, so my... Oh, there's another one right there. So this is just two smoke jumpers, it seems like. Or two mimetics, anyway. Uh, we could... No, we could actually try and switch to the pistol. And see if we have 58 on that one. We don't even see the other one. Okay, let's try and kill him. Okay, that's four damage. 
That's fine. I'm going to leave that guy there. And I'm going to come over here. Uh, to try and perhaps strangle one of them. Which would be awesome. Okay, just go there. And I'm going to hunker you. Oh, he's concealed? That's interesting, because I was looking at him. Oh, but he's the host, that's why. I think that's the bugged out. Ah, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Is he going to be concealed now as well? So he's not concealed. It's really weird. Alright, whatever you say, dude. It's okay, I guess. Wish I could just strangle that guy, but I cannot strangle him now, because... I cannot see him. It's not very nice. Oh, we have a situation here. On the, on the other hand. Where we could double shoot this guy already, and possibly kill him. But we will probably kill, be killed next turn, because we're going to be flanked. From over there. And that is a bit less nice. So I'm not sure how to go about this. Uh, okay. Probably cannot see anyone. I could try and come over here. Uh, this is really crap. We're not in a great position. I could come in a better position. And try and do shenanigans. But it's not necessarily going to work out. Okay, whatever we do... Let's try and take this guy out. I won't be able to come like uh, exactly where I need to be at this point. I think I have one more stealth thing that I can do. And I could just come over here and... Actually, I'm going to stay here probably. Mm, can't really find him. I could try and try and kill them maybe. See if I can see him. I can see him. Let's see if I can pistol him. 68. Well, there's a chance. Oh, got him. Okay, so I moved that guy for nothing there. Which is not that great. Okay, let's see. Let's try and kill him. Let's try and kill this guy. Okay, it's 14. And we are revealed. 100% hit. Let's do it. Money-wise, I'm winning. Uh, just gonna give the turn. Ah, I should have moved over here. That was a mistake. Didn't think about that. I should have moved closer to this guy. because He's probably gonna try and flank him. And I could have, I could have choked him to death at this point. But that's alright. So he has gone one guy left after this turn. Poor old Mac. Getting cold as the metal around him. So I'm definitely flanked here, unless he wants to play more defensive. But, ah, stupid, didn't move that guy around. Whoa, there's another one? Ho oh, ho! Didn't do counting very well. Okay, so he's gonna kill him with the other one. He's gonna flank him too. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. I'm still flanked, because I got guys on both sides now. Yeah. Oh, there's another one as well. So this is a full mimetics team. Oh, man. I did not anticipate that. That mech was cheaper than I thought. That was just a brawler, I guess. It's a good job diverting my attention to that mech. That was really good. I like that move. So, but this guy is still here, right? Like the other dude think. And then they disappear? Oh, because I lost vision on them? Oh, this is really crap. Oh, it's bad. That's really bad. Uh, is this guy here, though? That's what I really want to know. But will I able to know that? I don't even know. Oh, let's see. Can I land? 
Like, can I just drop down? Okay. So, that's good. And I can travel. Yeah. So I guess the guy is not there since I'm there. Strange stuff. Not that many places I can be right now that are not super dangerous. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, let's give it a go, right? Oh, I can see them. Oh, they'll flank me like to death. Ah, uh, whatever. I think we lost this one. So, uh, I got confused about how many medics there are. That's hard. Oh, he's dead. So, who was revealed? It's... That's a bit strange. Who got revealed? I don't know, completely confused here. Hey, I'm revealed, I understand that. But is the guy still there? I, I think there's someone there. Well, they should have died then, if they're still there. Okay, let's see if I can see anyone. Come on, yes. No, I do not see anyone. Oh, crap. All right. Let's fly, then. I don't think I'll be able to get to anyone quick enough to strangle them. But maybe I will be able to kill someone. Sort of. A little bit. I, I can get a flank on this guy, or can I can try and go for someone else there. And I doubt that that is going to work out. Let's... Try going here and flanking this guy. Oh, this there's, there's another guy. I I could have actually probably suffocated him or whatever this is, strangled him. So 85 up to four damage. Oh, that's 50% critical. I don't even know how much critical actually does. Well, whatever, we'll find out right now. Nope, no critical. Goodbye, seeker. Oh man, I should have deployed the battle scanner a lot sooner. When I thought I was gonna deploy it, that's when I should have deployed it. That was complete misstep right there. And I wanna use that squad again to see if I can use it a bit better. Um, GG. Guy from Germany. Oh, well, I guess you missed, so... Maybe... Not yet. Okay. Can this guy overwatch? Wow, he can overwatch. And I'm stuck. Ah, so this is the flying bug that we that were talking about. So when you are... When you're playing as um, as client... But I could probably drop out of flight? Okay. So that worked. Can I now move? Okay. All right, so something something worked out. I'm not trying to hide away from him for indefinitely. I'm just trying to just not die stupidly, maybe. Oh, the battle scanners were wasted. They were so wasted. I should have probably started on the first turn. Damn it. Well, I'll know for the next time. Still don't know how many guys this guy has. Like, whether or not there's another one. And they're probably invisible already, because I don't see them anymore. Alright, so let's try flying one more time. Too bad you cannot heal, Matrix. Let's get up here. Okay. 
Well, what's my chance on this guy then, anyway? 45. It's not gonna happen. He's gonna kill me. Oh, right. And, and of course, I got stuck again. Can I unstuck this? Oh, come on. Fire axis. What is this bullshit? <sighs> Who did, like, QA on this, anyway? <sighs> Alright. Can I drop down on the roof? Oh, wow. Thanks for that. Burp, burp. And here we go. Here's that shot. Boom, boom. Well, that was interesting and very educational. Thanks for playing against me, Carlo. Uh, Autoclave lived, was the last one to die. So this was a squad with a seeker, a hunter, a an agent, and a smoke jumper that I completely wasted. Because I did not think there would be so many mimetics around me at the same time. And I'm not even sure if that the third mimetic died, actually. So that was quite interesting. I enjoyed this. I hope uh, you guys did too. And if you did so, consider supporting this video in any way you can. And I will see you next time. Bye.